Hey everyone, welcome back to eLearning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back with another amazing video of SQL, but this time it is not any important SQL interview question of some company, but a very, very important SQL concept to understand. And I know many of you already heard about this SQL operation and many of you would have already used it. But still, I think this is one of the most powerful operation which someone can use in the SQL to solve some important queries. And that is what I am going to demonstrate today. And that operation is none other than the exist operation with the where clause. So we all know why we actually use the where clause in the SQL queries just to filter out some data. And that is the point where this exist operation plays a very, very important role when it comes to perform the lookup kind of queries. So now you will be interested to know what is this lookup. So lookup is nothing. Let's say you have two data sets together. And if you want to check a record which is present in this particular data set, whether some entry related to this record is present in another data set or not. And I know now you might be thinking, okay, join is also there. Why we shouldn't use the join part. And that is why I'm creating this video to clarify where you should actually use the exist operation, where you should use the join operation. What is the actual difference between them for the demonstration? I have already created the customer and order table. And I will provide the create table statement and the insert operations in the video description so that you can also quickly create this table and write those queries. But here you can see these two data set. One is the customer's data and another is the orders data. So in the customer's data, we have customer ID, customer name, customer email, some random email IDs, random IDs and random customer names. And even in the orders table, we have the order ID, which is the primary key of this table. And the primary key of this customer table is the customer ID. And this data set is very easy to understand a very common reference to our e-commerce platforms where we actually purchase something, we order something and based on that one, the order either gets delivered or it get canceled or it got returned multiple status of the different orders as well. So that's what I have kept it here. So for different customers right multiple times they can even place multiple orders and each order will have a unique id as well right so here if you can uh, simply see we are having this final orders table where either the status will be delivered or cancelled for any of the order id so here you can say this customer one placed two orders and the amount for that one the 550 220 and one order was delivered and another order got cancelled and similarly for customer two and customer three, you might not see the entries for these two customers, let's say four and five in this orders table. And what does it actually means? That means they didn't place any order yet. So the simple query to understand the exist operation here, how it actually works. So try to assume a situation where someone come to you that, Hey, can you quickly tell me whether Sashank placed any order on our platform or not? It is just a simple lookup. I want to check whether Sashank actually placed any order on our platform here. As soon as you hear this problem statement that I need to check whether Sashank's data exists in this order table or not. So why not to use the join operation? Simply, I will use customers table. I will use orders table and I will use the customer ID as my join key and my task is done simple, right? And that's correct. That would be the best approach for someone who is only aware about the join operation, but not these kind of filter operations or these kind of operations like exist. So when we talk about the exist operation, so exist operation actually work like an Boolean operation. So if in your query, there is a sub query and you are using the exist operation. So it will only try to give the output if that sub query is returning the true and false value. But when we talk about the join operation, what happens? We actually perform the different joins, let's say inner left, right joins. And in that case, the involvement of both of the data set will be there. And even in our output, right? we can get the columns from both of the data set. Also, there could be multiple repeated entries as well. If we have repeated data in any of the data set for any particular key column, right? So this is the first major difference. So let's look at the output here. 
how we can solve this question right with the help of exist operation and even with the join operation and how this data actually looks different with each other and before starting the actual solution if you are someone who believe in the learning by doing and you are also targeting to crack big tech firms and you feel that you are lacking in real world projects and really good portfolio including the most demanding skill set in the back end development front end development and full stack development then cryo.do's amazing placement guarantee program can help you in this journey which is fellowship program in software development first you can book your free trial you can use the link given in the description you can see the duration which will be 9 months of fully online course and placement guarantee of dream jobs between 6 to 15 lpa super dream jobs between 15 to 40 lpa 20 plus micro skilling experience and 5 plus work life professional projects in depth interview focused system design data structures algorithm curriculum you will get the projects which are actually the problem statements of leading companies like cred jumbo tel and many others your complete project portfolio will be created on the github and most important the placement guarantee you can see the amazing success stories of these students who are placed in some of the top notch companies here you can see the ideas of real world industry level projects like the google news app airbnb zero dha amazon and many other realistic use cases here you can see the complete breakdown of the curriculum where things will start from the very basics including all those required skill set will be taught there will be full personalized placement assistance and even those live sessions will be taken by the pro industry experts who will be teaching you with the best skill set there will be whole mock interview setup environment for you and the job referrals and if you are using the link given in the description definitely there will be some scholarship for you as well so what are you actually waiting for enroll yourself as soon as possible and crack your dream job use the link given in the description to book your free trial so first i will write the join approach and will execute that query so that you can see the output select customers dot star means from the customer table we want each and every record and what will be the syntax here from customers table and what we want to do we will be doing the left join with orders table on customers dot customer id equals to orders dot customer id where customer id in the orders table is not null right because here we are doing the left join operation so by any chance if there is no entry for the customer any of the customer present in the uh, orders table in that case what will happen the customer id from the orders table will be populated as a null because there was no match for it right so if i simply run it right so here what we can see we can see this thing right and since it was a plain query it was a plain query for all the customer ids but our problem statement was to simply get the output for the shashank whether shashank plays something or not so how this query should be modified where orders dot customer id is not null and customers dot customer name equals to shashank but here let's say we simply did this part now just focus your attention at this part right so when we did this join operation doesn't matter we would have done the inner join left join or anything we can see the two entries but at least this thing is good enough to tell us that something shashank has placed on our platform or not but don't you think that this is sort of an unnecessary operation even by any chance if this record got matched by any how in any of the order ids which is present in the orders table because customer 1 which is shashank placed two orders right this one and this one so our idea is just to check whether shashank placed any order or not doesn't matter it was delivered or cancelled so 
by any chance if match happened for the very first occurrence of the customer id 1 in the orders table just stop our execution and return true and false yes i have found a match correct so here join is not doing it join operation will try to join each and everything that's what i mentioned in the beginning if you have multiple records in any of the data set and match is happening so multiple entries will be there in the output now try to solve this question with the help of the exist operation so let me write a query for that one and carefully look at the syntax as well that how this actually looks like the entire syntax of the exist operation so for that one simply we are doing select star from and we will write this table name the table name and its syntax is not like the join operation not exactly like a join operation but somehow it matches with the syntax of the join and you will see what i am actually trying to say so select star from the customers right and here what i will do i will use this where clause after the where clause we need to write this exist keyword and then we will write a sub query so now our sub query will be the actual part which will return the true and false if the lookup was successful or we found any match in the sub query so for that one how we are going to check so idea is simple select any column or even do a star right on this table because with the exist operation idea is simple the columns which are mentioned in the sub query those will not become the part of the output because this is again not a join operation this is an binary operation if sub query returns true and false then whatever table you have used in this outer sub query only those columns will become part of your final result right so select order id from orders table and here you will use another where clause and this where keyword in this section will act like a on operation in this join condition so what we are trying to do here in this sub query right we have used the order table from the outer query we are iterating on the customers table record one by one right and what we are trying to check here if we use this order id table and in the where clause we are putting some condition if that condition is getting satisfied for any of the record of this table along with any record from this table that means the sub query will either return true or false so here what we are going to do we can use the alias name of these columns so customers dot customer id equals to orders dot customer id also customers dot customer name equals to shashank right now just feel the difference here when we executed this query which was again was solving our purpose but also look at this query definitely you can observe the difference here right and the observation is very simple that where clause we use the exist operation and how it is actually happening here that for the each record of the customers table it is actually trying to do a lookup in this orders table based on this condition that condition is the customer id from the orders table should match with the customer id from the customers table also the customers name should be equal to the shashank right so here you can see the difference that by any chance it didn't produced two or more than two records it only reflected one record in the output result and why it happened because exist operation acts like a switch right so that is the thing i wanted to focus here when i talk about this switch so for let's say customer id 1 there are two possibilities of matches if we go ahead with that normal join operation so this record first will get matched with this one because customer id is one here and then it will get matched with this one but here as soon as this match happens if we use the exist operation 
so the switch will break switch will break means the next matching will not happen because our lookup has been already completed that is why we are only getting the one record in the final output not multiple one right so that is the exact difference and now you can even feel how easily you can use this exist operation in order to do these kind of complex lookups and you can avoid doing this join operation which is definitely not that much better if you want to perform simple lookup related queries because again your output record and the number of iterations will be too much in comparison to the exist operation and definitely under the hood exist is trying to use the phenomena of the joinings but ultimately it is not doing any unnecessary stuff if we compare it with the join operation it is simply returning the record whatever column you have selected in the final select statement it will return it if the record exists or the matching condition in this sub query uh, is perfectly running fine if not any condition is getting failed that means this sub query will return the false part and based on that there will no output come from the outer query so let me know in the comment section how many of you knew about this exist operation and how many of you frequently using this thing and if you like this amazing concept of exist operation in sql and you want me to bring more and more videos similar to that one where i can talk about cool cool topics of sql feel free to put your thoughts and opinions and suggestions in the comment section i will definitely create videos around that one and what do you feel about this video just show your love like it in the big numbers so that this tutorial can reach to maximum number of aspiring data professionals i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing concept of anything related to big data i will see you next week till then just stay safe stay home take care yourself and your family too